Hello everyone, this is Diane. Thanks for coming to my channel. Today I would like to introduce you to my very first Christmas journal of 2023. And this is a Scandinavian or Swedish journal because I used a lot of the supplies that my friend Karina sent me from uh, Sweden. And it was really fun to work on and I just had a lot of fun doing it and I hope that you will enjoy seeing it. Um, I used a Reader's Digest with the green pattern, which I thought was really perfect. And it, it almost looks Scandinavian, doesn't it? And I used this postcard that Karina had sent me. I don't believe it's vintage, but it was used. It had writing on the back. I had to trim it a little bit and added it to a red cardstock and some muslin and then just glued it to the cover. <coughs> And she had given me a ribbon <clears throat> piece, a woven ribbon like this. And this means good Christmas or Merry Christmas, as we would say here in America. So I used the ribbon a few times in the journal. And on the spine, I used a piece of linen that was had been cut off. This was all that was left. This one edge with the embroidered edging and then the other side had was the cut edge and I put some gimp there. It has three signatures that are sewn in with a pamphlet stitch, a five hole pamphlet stitch. And I added a bunch of beads, a uh, cluster. And um, I used, I'm sorry, I was distracted by my phone for a second. Um, I used a lot of red, green, and white beads on red, green, and white strings. So that makes a really fun, can you hear it? Cluster, um, dangle. <clears throat> I have my tripod sitting differently, so I may bump it with my knee because I wanted to give you a better view than you usually get of my table. I used a hitch fastener and a hair tie to hold it closed. I did stuff it pretty full so it does pop up when you release the tie a little bit and then you start putting stuff in it and it'll get fatter. It's uh, about five and a quarter and uh, seven and five eighths and it's got a two inch spine. So let's go inside. I cut this label with my big shot and this was the Ex Libris that was on this page of the Reader's Digest, so I cut it out and put it behind that frame that I cut out. I used um, some scrapbook paper and some dyed paper and music paper and maybe some other things, but most of the other things came from Sweden. So this is my scrapbook paper that I had in my stash. And she sent me a lot of Swedish stamps. And there were other countries too. She sent me a lot of stamps. And I saw New Zealand, and I don't remember now what else, but I tried to pick ones that looked like they were actually Swedish stamps. And um, just put a little ribbon behind it. This is one of the fabrics that she sent me. It had cherubs on it <clears throat> and stars. And I just cut a section that just had, had stars and made it uh, pleated edging there. She sent me a bunch of, um, these are like the covers of a stamp booklet or whatever they get their stamps in. You can see on the back that it was what was left over once the stamps were used up and I thought it was cute. She sent me quite a few of these, well several of these, and then some other designs too. So I put a different one on the inside of the front of the signature cover of each signature. This is a strip of fabric that she sent me. I added it to um, cardstock and sewed it. She sent me a bunch of antique and newer postcards, and this is an antique one, 1913. So, yeah, this is Madison Square Station. So it must have been, and it's got a U.S. postage stamp, so it must have been sent from the U.S. to someone in Sweden. 
And this is a coffee dyed paper and I just stamped on it. I did use some of my stamps. This is a set of from a set of Tim Tim Holtz. I used the Scandinavian ones that I showed you, or the folk art ones, but they look Scandinavian, and some Tim Holtz ones that went well with the look. This is from a strip of fabric that she sent me. I think this is a vintage linen piece. It's got uh, pomegranate, I think, tied to the branches of a tree and a little cluster up there. This little bit came from that ribbon. And she sent me some computer papers, several different designs, so I used a different one in each signature. I added the trim. The smaller trims that are throughout the book I added because the trims she sent me were big except for that Merry Christmas one. And I also received some German scrap pieces from her. There's one of my stamps on a dyed paper. I made this tag page out of a dyed paper, stapled some ribbon on it. She sent me some of these stickers, they're labels, with good uh, Merry Christmas and um, different design on each one. There's a cluster there. Uh, the music paper is from my stash. And I did include pages from this miniature Jan Brett book, The Twelve Days of Christmas. I just looked Jan Brett up because I thought she was Scandinavian because she has done a lot of Scandinavian looking books. And I love her art. But she's American. I wonder if she has Scandinavian roots, but um, I included several pages of that so you can cut them apart and use them to decorate your journal. These are just a couple of little slips from a, a vintage metal pad. And this is one of the gift tags that um, Karina sent me. She sent me some pages from children's books. So this is a nice sturdy page, and it's got the Swedish text on this side. Uh, this is a dyed page, and I added one of the first cover envelopes that Karina sent me with the first day cover with the Scandinavian stamps, and this is 1983, and I just tucked a card inside each one. This doesn't look Christmassy, but it does say a happy Christmas on it. It's coming apart. So there's little holes there for the roses and so the rose pieces are glued on and then that was covered up with the back part. This is dated 1908. Of course you can put your own uh, keepsake pieces inside the pockets and envelopes and remove whatever you want to. Use them in something else if you want to. Here is some wrapping paper. She sent me three or four different kinds of wrapping paper. So I used them to make a big pocket in each signature. This is just glued to some cardstock and I added some rickrack and I tucked this card that she sent me inside. It has Santa going around the world and he has a banner saying Merry Christmas in different languages. And this says Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Here's one of the fabric strips she sent me and I added this little bit of lace applique that I had and one of her postcards the wreath of candles around the head is a Scandinavian tradition. I don't know if it is strictly um, Swedish, but I think, doesn't Italy do that too? It says here, Lucia. I think that's the Italian pronunciation. I don't know how it's pronounced in Sweden. And another of the Swedish book pages, it's from a different book. So it has Swedish text here, beautiful color picture. and the rest of the pocket. Another postcard. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And then I just stuck in this sheet full of stickers that you can play with. Some more uh, Swedish stamps and I used my... Do I 
have it here. I always forget I have this. So I used this and covered up the parts I didn't want to stamp when I stamped it into the ink and then removed the tape <clears throat> and stamped it on the page. So it does say December 25th there. Love this image from one of the book pages. And this is this song is Masters in This Hall. I think it's a English traditional song and there's a stamp that she sent me. I backed it with some gold cardstock. Another Jan Brett page and this was a uh, digital page that I had printed. I thought it was um, it was good to put in here. It seemed to go with the Swedish thing. It doesn't look folk arty but it's pretty neutral. And I had that small page printed so I tore it in half and used both pieces in this journal. Here's one of the labels she sent me. And I put a piece of the ribbon up here. I stamped this house and there were some stamps with this uh, Scandinavian looking set that said Merry Christmas, but I wanted it to be in Swedish, so I just cut that piece of ribbon. It's one of the German scraps she sent me and just a strip of leftover cardstock. For these, um, these guys were, let's see if I can find them. Yep, here they are. They were on this accordion folded piece. And it says, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. So I wanted to put both of them on here. So I did uh, a semicircle, kind of a tuck spot here. I guess I have to glue a little bit. Oh, I have to glue it back on there. And um, added, added the little guys on there. These are Scandinavian characters. My Danish uh, sister-in-law said that they have these figures in the in, Den in Denmark too. Sorry, I'm struggling here, I guess. And this little guy, I guess he's the same sort of character, and he's on the same kind of thing, front and back. So these must have been, you know, put on a mantle or something, standing up for decoration. And this is a sheet of Swedish stamps. That was one signature. There's another stamp there. Another piece of the fabric with one of their straw ornaments that they make. And a postcard. It's written in English, but this part is written in Swedish. And there's another one of the stamp covers. This is the Santa Claus from the Tim Holtz stamp set. A piece from one of the fabrics that she sent me and I added some lace and a ribbon. And this is one of the, I think this is actually one of my computer papers. She sent me a couple and I needed one more. I thought she sent me three but I remembered this was mine. And this is a vintage piece of rickrack with crochet around it that I thought was really pretty to put on the edge there one of her pieces that she sent and some stamps there. She sent me this little envelope with a gift card in it, a gift enclosure card um, to and from London it says. So there's one of the red buses and you can write on the inside and um, the passengers and the ticket taker Oh, sorry, are all bears. And I embossed this snowflake and glued it on halfway so you can tuck the flap of the envelope in. And this is a German scrap, a large one. And it looks like it may have been adhered to something lightly because it was pulled away without tearing it. But I put it in there and you can do what you like with it. And I just added some fabric pieces up there.
another gift enclosure card from Sweden. So this must be to and from. And one of her book pages. I'm not sure when I'm going to have this video up, so I'm just going to say it's going to be in the shop when you see the video. The journal will be in the shop. This is wrapping paper with Rick Rack and another postcard. I made a tab on it so you can pull it out easily. This is small enough that it would go all the way down and you wouldn't even know it was in there. And this is a piece of lace that she sent me. It has tulips on it, which aren't very Christmassy. But if you don't look too close, you don't know they're tulips. It's just red and white lace, and it looks really pretty on that red and white patterned paper. And it came from Sweden, so I put it in. I love this snowy scene po postcard. The stamp here says 1965. Oh, so does that one. So, let's see that. Postcards from 1965. It's another postcard. I don't know what that word is. This word is Christmas or Yule, but I don't know what that is. Friedful? Friedful. I don't know what it means. I'll have to look it up. And a scrap piece that you can write on. I had made this belly band um, by gluing a napkin. She sent me some napkins, and I chose the one that looks more most Scandinavian with this cute little girl. And I didn't use Mod Podge, I just used a glue stick and glued her down. And then I was going to let it dry and then sew around it, and then I completely forgot about it. It didn't even get put in the journal until I was cleaning up my table and found it. So I found a page to put it in there. I sewed around it, put it in. I'm going to tuck this postcard in. It's beautiful. Put some more stamps up there. This one is a postcard or a stamp with a red mailbox and some birds dropping letters into the slot in the snow. Another Jan Brett page and some card or stamps. There's another label. This came out of a more modern magazine, and I loved the cookies, and I was going to put these, I have a bunch of these strips, they were used in borders on several of the pages in this magazine, and so I was going to put them in my cozy journal <clears throat> when I make that, but when I was rummaging through my Christmas stuff and saw them, I thought, well, they look like Scandinavian cookies, so I put the one strip in here, maybe two. And this is a coaster and a black and white postcard. Nineteen thirty-seven. I loved these papers that I had with the little gnomes. I thought they went well with the characters, the Scandinavian Christmas characters. And well. Uh, isn't there a famous, uh, maybe he's Norwegian, the gnome artist that writes books, but you know, they're all Scandinavian. They're different countries, I know that, but they're all Scandinavian. Uh, and the ornaments are pretty up there. They all have their own languages and traditions and customs, but I'm sure they have a lot of similar things. This is one of the stamp book covers with the gingerbread men. I love this embroidered piece. It's so beautiful. There's an antique postcard and the other half of that 
uh, digital sheet that was in my stash. There's a stamp of a reindeer. And here's one of the uh, computer papers she sent. I added this embroidered trim. This is a miniature postcard. And this little gift card. And they want to slide out, so I just put this paper clip on them like that. Kind of holds them in. And I won't take this off, but there's a card inside that envelope also. This is uh, wrapping paper again, and I added some trims up here. And then she sent me a sheet of of um, German scraps that had been glued to this paper, and I believe it wasn't done by her. I believe this is vintage paper that they were glued to. The, it looks yellowed, especially where the glue is. So um, I just kept them on the vintage paper and used pinking shears and then glued them to cardstock. So there's one there and you'll see one on the other side of this page. And this is one of my recipe cards that I tucked in there. And just a scrap. This is paper I used for the, pa the tag pages. Here's the other one. And um, when I was cutting this one out, I noticed that on the paper, uh, Karina had written 1932 in pencil, very pale. I think you can see it there. So I, I kept that snippet and glued it up there so you could see that these pieces are from 1932. Some of the Swedish stamps. I cut around them. They were just glued to a white card. I cut around them with pinking shears or the stamping. No, they're, they're pinking ones. Anyway, and I stamped my December 25th on it. And the music sheet with a stamp. It's just a scrap of paper I had in my stash. And another one of the stamp covers. And this little girl is a digital piece that I had already printed and cut out. She was in my stash, so I just tucked her in there. And there's a label from Karina with the gnome and a squirrel. There's a deer stamp there. There's the other piece of the cookie strip. And I used a coaster here for a tuck spot, and it has a postcard at the back of the book that says a glad new year this is a very thick postcard and it was sent in 1916 I think and I just tucked in one of the gift enclosure cards the other one was the red bus this one is a black car and these tags were made in England it says it must be why there was the red British bus. But um, I just left it in this little cellophane and tucked it in there so you can do what you want with it. And here's another napkin that she sent me. I glued it to some cardstock, signed my name on it. And this is a postcard that I trimmed to fit. And this was not one of the antique ones. And there it is. I love this little journal. It's just so sweet, I think, and fresh looking, and I love the traditional colors, and I hope that you like it. Whether you are Scandinavian or not, I hope that you enjoyed this and um, someone wants to take it home with them. So it is in my shop when the video goes up. If it's not there when you see the video and you go to my shop and it's not there, it's because someone already purchased it. So thank you for watching, and I will be back with another Christmas journal 
Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make another Scandinavian one. Um, I was hoping to, but I might. But I have other ones I want to make too. So I might move on to a different type. And if I have time, I'll come back to the Scandinavian ones. But um, I am going to take a week off. Today's only Tuesday. I finished this on Tuesday. And I have some other things I need to do before my vacation starts. But you might see me again, and I might be listing stuff before my shop closes for vacation. So, you know, you can watch for me. And I'll be seeing you when I see you. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.